right. How's everyone doing today? Are you good? Show me your best smiles. Oh, I can even see it through your mask, Camila. Oh, it looks like Zoe lost a tooth. Look at those beautiful smiles. Did anybody lose a tooth? Show me. Show me your big gaping holes in your mouth. Oh my goodness, Genesis, where are your teeth? <laughs> oh my goodness, I see them. You guys are growing up so fast. Hi, Atsy. All right. So today, um, well, all this week we've been talking about habitat. All right, so the habitats we've studied so far, we've talked about the rainforest habitat and we've talked about the desert habitat. Who remembers any of the five things an animal needs to survive in its habitat? There's five things. Yahtzee, I need you to stay in one spot, honey. What's, what are some of those things that an animal needs to survive in its habitat? Hmm. Zoe, what's one? Go ahead and unmute. Food. It needs food. What else does it need to survive in its habitat? Legend? Water. Water. Yes, it needs food. It needs water. What else does it need? Sinai? Habitat. It does need a habitat, but what does it need inside of its habitat to live? It needs food, it needs water. What else, Legend's giving you a clue? <laughs> air. It space. does need air, nice job. In food. space. Hold on, hold on, don't give me two answers. Food, water, air. What else, Jalen? Space. Space, and there's one more, Yahtzee. Shade. Not shade. It starts with the same shh diagraph. Hmm. Legend, I know you know. I love it. Ezekiel, what is it? Shelter. Shelter. Yes. Very nice job. So animals can only survive in a habitat if they have those five things. All right. So when we were looking at when we were looking at the rainforest habitat, we saw a picture of a beautiful map of the rain of the whole world and where the rainforests are in the world. We're going to be working on maps today and studying maps. So the book we're going to read is going to be all about maps, mapping Penny's world. All right. All right, so we're just going to listen. Please stay muted, Yahtzee. Yeah. All right, so mapping Penny's world. Who do you think Penny is? Raise your hand. Who do you think Penny is? Camila, who do you think Penny is? Unmute, hon. Click on the red microphone. It's the dog. I think it's the dog. Who has a brain match? Who agrees with Camila? Oh, yeah. All your friends agree. All right. Nice job. All right. So mapping Penny's world. Why does it keep doing it? My name is Lisa, and my class is making maps this month. Make sure you stay muted, please. My teacher, Mr. Jason, says a map is a picture of someplace from above. It's like flying over that spot in an airplane. So if you're looking down on something, that's what the map looks like. So if you're way up in the sky, this is what the map of the world. There's North America, South America, Africa, Asia, Europe, and they're drawing it in. So they're making maps. Mr. Mason says we can make a map of any place, like a room, a yard, or a neighborhood. Maybe I can make a map of my bedroom at home. Oh, look at this class made a map of our school. So look at if you're they're looking down in the school, there's all these hallways and classroom. 
classroom. That's what ours would look like too. There's the cafeteria and gym. There's the playground. Oh, look at, there's, it tells you what these symbols are. This green circle is a tree, though the tree is right there. Oop, and another tree is right here. All right, let's see. Oh, look at, she, this is her bedroom. This is what she's gonna make a map of. Oh, I see Penny. I see Penny right here. Oh, look at, there's another picture of Penny here. Okay. I'll measure my room and everything in it to make my map. Of course, I'll have to include Penny's bed. Penny is my Boston Terrier and she sleeps in here too. Do you want to measure the fish tank, Penny? I bet you Penny likes looking in the fish tank. All right, so imagine you're looking above and down on her room. What would it look like in a map? I wonder. My map shows how my bedroom would look from overhead as if I were looking down from the ceiling. Oh, so if you're flat on your ceiling and looking down, this is what her bedroom would look like. Oh, hold on, back up, Mrs. Kennedy. All right, so her bed is over here. She has a big rug in the middle, the plant, the bookshelf. Oh, there's Penny's bed, some toys, a stool, the dresser. Oh, and look at that is a close up map of my fish tank. Thanks for your help, Penny. So this map shows everything, even the closet doors and the door. Now look carefully at this map. Hmm, look carefully at this map. Look at the key, look at this, what the symbols are. Look at that bear, the bear means there's toys. Can you point to where you see the toys in her bedroom? Point to where you see the bears. Where are the toys in this bedroom? Nice job, yep, they're right here. Let's see. All right, how about a tricky one? This symbol right here, see it? It says it's a castle. Can you find the castle and point to it on this page? Did you find the castle? Oh, it's right here. It's like you're using your observation skills. All right, ooh, last one, curtains. Look at these wiggly things, look like curtains. Where are the curtains in her room? Point to it. You see them? Right here, nice job. All right. Penny likes to hide her toys and other stuff in the yard. I have found shoes, and socks in the strangest places. Maybe I'll make a map of Penny's hideouts. Oh my goodness, she's gonna make a map of the backyard. Let's see what that looks like from above. If you're a bird flying, what would it look like? Oh, look at here's the yard. Oh, and she called it Penny's treasure map. Look, Penny's treasure map. Here's the house. So if you're like a bird flying down or an airplane looking down, Here's the house, the garage, the driveway. Looks like a path. Hmm, patio. All right, let's look and see. Here's the key, look at this symbol, that's a bone. Can you find where the bone is on the treasure map? Hmm, huh, where did she bury the bone? Do you see it? Oh, you found two? Ah, I see one here and one here, nice job. All right, let's look for, look at this symbol right here, the sock. Where are the socks on that map? Point to them and show me with your fingers how many you found. Everyone, show me with your fingers, how many did you find? Absolutely. Welcome Santino, nice job, there's two. And Tyler, nice, I wanted to see your face. All right, on this map, some of the symbols stand for the goodies she has hidden outside. The rest of the symbols represent the fence. Hello. Here's the fence, Hello. cable, and Hello. things that are supposed to be out there. Penny, if you hide my doll, 
you'll be in big trouble. All right, let's see what other maps she makes. Maps are good for giving directions. Yeah, because sometimes I use Sorry. Sometimes I use maps to help me get where I need to go. If I don't know where I'm going, I could use the map to help. So maps are good for giving directions. Suppose Penny's friend Maxine wants to come over. You could say, you could say, go out your back door, turn right by the trash cans, crawl under the gap in the wooden fence, watch out for the big orange cat, Squeeze through the bushes, turn left at the yellow fire hydrant, turn right on the sidewalk, go to the third house on the right with the red door, sit down in front of it and bark. Phew! Or you could draw a map instead. Oh yeah, it'd be much easier for a map. Right, raise your hand if you've ever seen your grown-ups use a map. Maybe Google Maps on their phone trying to get somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I use them for sure. Nice. Yeah, it'd be definitely easier to use those maps than having someone tell me all those other directions. Here is the shortest way from Maxine's house to our house. Oh, so she drew a map for the one dog, Maxine, to get to Penny. It's a lot longer if you go around the block instead of going the back way. All right, so let's see. Maxine's path is the red dot. So here's Maxine's house. Just to go out, turn, go around the road, and then our house. You can see the trash cans, those little Gray circles, Maxine's house has two trash cans. Point to the, this, oh, this really, is that yellow? The fire hydrant. Can you point to where the fire hydrant is on this map? Yep, it's right here. Nice, I wonder if she stops to use the bathroom at the fire hydrant, I don't know. All right, I can't take Maxine when I ride my bike because there's only room for a penny in the basket. All right, I wonder what kind of map they're gonna make now. These are our trails. To make this map, I measure our footpaths with a pedometer, a tool that shows how far a person walks. For the bike trails, I use an odometer, which shows how far a vehicle travels. The map scale shows the real distance in the park. According to the map, the distance between point A and point B is two tenths of a mile. So it measures, it says this part right here is the scale. This distance is one tenth of a mile. Hmm. You can't draw maps as big as things really are because your maps would be so big, as big as your house, as big as the world, as big as the park. So they shrink everything down. Hmm, let's see. Look at this. The tree and the key over here where the symbols are. It's a forest. Can you point to where the forests are? Looks like there's three of them. Can you point to the forests? Nice. What about this R? It means the restrooms or the bathrooms. Point to where the bathrooms are, the restrooms. Can you find them on the map? Yep, show me with your fingers. How many are there? How many restrooms are there? Two, absolutely nice job. So if you're playing or going on a hike or a bike ride and you have to use the bathroom, you know that there's two of them. All right. Let's see. Oh, that's has been a lot of time. When we go out into the neighborhood, Penny has some favorite places she likes to visit again and again. Hmm. Pond. <laughs> Her favorite squirrel bench. Oh, it looks like she visits some friends at the dog park maybe. Oh, I wonder if she's gonna make a map of those places. Oh, 
Yep. I made this three-dimensional map with construction paper and clay. Remember, 3D means it's big and solid, right? You can't clap it. So this means her map sticks up and it has pieces on it. The numbers, oh, her keys are numbers, show where Penny can do different activities. So number one says watch turtles and ducks. Find where the number one is. Where can she watch number, where can she watch turtles and ducks? You find it? Good job. All right, number five says meet other dogs. Where's number five? Where can Penny meet other dogs? Yep, nice job. All right, what about number two? Bark at squirrels. Where would Penny bark at squirrels? Find number two. Nice work, right here on that bench. So cool map, oh, and look at the pet store, the food store, bikes and gift store. Oh, looks like Penny likes to lick the food. Penny loves to travel outside our neighborhood too. I think there are special places she would enjoy visiting, like a doggy treat factory, a really huge park, or a big dog show. This map shows a few of the places Penny can go, and I'm going with her. So look at this world, it's a world map. You can see the whole world here. There's North America. Oh, look at Penny's gonna go surfing sled racing up near Alaska, South America. Ooh, in the rainforest, cool habitat space. Maybe in the grasslands in Africa. Ooh, the Arctic down here with the penguins. Maybe she's gonna go visit the elephants and pandas in Asia. Whoa, she could go around the world. Don't forget the maps, Penny. Yeah. Don't forget the maps if you're traveling that far. All right. So we have looked at all different kinds of maps that Penny and her owner made. We don't know the name of her owner. We were looking at all those different maps. So what you can do now is in Schoology, let me show you exactly where that is. So in Schoology, Hello, why won't it go away? There we go. So if you go to Today in Schoology, you're gonna to go to the Read Aloud. That's what this is, all right? And there's boom cards here. So the first boom card is all about maps. You're looking for gas stations and you're looking for other things, all right? The second boom card is a super fun one. Are you ready? You get to make your very own treasure map. All right, so here are the footprints. Where are you gonna put the alligators? Where are you gonna put the treasure? All right, you get to build your very own treasure map. All right, so first answer the questions about this map. And then the next one is you get to build your very own treasure map, okay? Give me a thumbs up if you think that sounds like fun. Yeah, maybe you're gonna be a pirate. Arr, matey. <laughs> arr, I already did it too. Pirate. All right, everybody unmute and give me your best arr. Yeah. Are you growling or being pirates? I can't tell. the plank. All right, so when we get off of here, make sure you do the one boom card first about the maps, and then the second one you get to make your own, all right? Okay. I will see you at 11 o'clock for maps. Okay.